In this edition of On Record, the UK's Royal Air Force is testing electric and uncrewed aircraft, supporting its green transformation. Elbit Systems of America is expanding with plans for a new 135,000 square foot facility in South Carolina. And students from the Israeli periphery show off their computer programming skills in a 24-hour hackathon dedicated to support the community. Hello, I'm Lauren Izzo and we are On Record. The UK's Royal Air Force is exploring how to integrate electric aircrafts with a series of recent tests, part of the Ministry of Defense's Green Transformation Agenda. The trials conducted by Elbit Systems UK through Affinity Flying Training Services in partnership with the Civil Aviation Authority assessed the Velis Electro aircraft's compatibility while determining the aircraft's effectiveness for pilot training. Adding to the RAF Net Zero efforts, Elbit Systems UK has also conducted demonstrations of the Skylark 3 hybrid UAS. The demos carried out in Wiltshire allowed the Royal Air Force to assess the system's performance in a number of criteria. The Skylark 3 hybrid delivers up to 18 hours of endurance with no change to size or weight, significantly increasing mission effectiveness and cost efficiency. Elbit Systems of America is expanding with plans for a new 135,000 square foot facility in Charleston, South Carolina. It will house the company's Ground Combat Vehicle Assembly and Integration Center of Excellence, increasing its customer support capabilities. In addition to supporting existing contracts, the company plans to use the new facility as a base for assembly and integration efforts of future programs for both the U.S. Department of Defense and the Department of Homeland Security. We talked a little bit about workforce development. We plan as part of what we do is to partner with local colleges and universities to advance the state of the workforce. As we grow here, we expect to grow together with the city and the county. In Brazil, an advanced simulation of the Warani armored vehicle is now being displayed in the country's Museum of the Southern Military Command and the historic center of Porto Alegre. The AFV simulator's motion and image software was developed by AEL Sistemas, an Elbit Systems subsidiary, who also loaned it to the museum for the exhibit. The system, which gives an exact replica of the driver's experience, is now accessible for all who want to try it out and learn more about the country's military technology. Pre-military service students from around Israel recently demonstrated their programming skills in a 24-hour Aharai Tech hackathon, developing life-saving solutions to aid the community. Aharai Tech is a program that provides students from the Israeli periphery with programming skills, allowing them equal opportunity in reaching elite IDF units. A collaboration between Elbit Systems, the IDF 8200 Alumni Association, and the nonprofit organization Aharai, the program mentors over 200 students at 26 locations around the country in programming, artificial intelligence, and IoT. Elbit Systems UK has recently delivered an innovative virtual reality training system to the Royal Navy, which will help prepare deck marshalers in an immersive environment for operations on board the new Queen Elizabeth class aircraft carriers. The Royal Navy's challenges, they had no way of experiencing live jet training due to the, they had no experience of the noise, danger, the responsibilities. So the VR solution that we've come up with allows them to train in a safe environment. Elbit Systems UK is part of the Team Fisher Consortium, transforming the Royal Navy's shore-based training. In only four months since being given the task by the Royal Navy, the company has developed a synthetic training system that could help replicate the experiences of complex deck operations. The system actually allows up to four trainees to launch a single aircraft or up to four aircraft. This could be developed further and could also include other deck handlers and ultimately the flying control team to make it a full deck operating system. That's all for this edition of On Record. For more updates from Elbit Systems, subscribe to our YouTube channel and tap the bell so you don't miss out on our latest videos. I'm Lauren Izzo. Thank you for watching.